show. I am the boss with the sauce. Yes. I'm working and still taking off. Yes. If I said it, I meant it. It is what it is. I'ma check them for I write them off. They yes. loving my lingo. They see me say bingo. <clears throat> All right, grand greetings, grand greetings. How y'all doing today? What's going on? This is your girl, Giselle. She about the spiritual boss with the spiritual sauce. All right, coming to you to break you off another edition of She Boss Talks for the 90 Day Self Help Self Check Challenge. All right, so listen, going into the New Year's uh, moment of reflection and moment of transparency, the 90 Day Self Help Self Check Challenge that I created. For those of you who want to work on self-improvement, work on personal development, work on professional development, work on spiritual development in order to become the best version of yourself and in order to experience the best life that you could possibly create, all right? Um, I've been doing this 90 Day Self-Help Self-Check Challenge since October the 1st, and I had about I had about eight or nine things that I was wanting to consistently uh, work on for these 90 days. So what I decided to do was, um, because I wasn't able to get everything or do everything the way that I wanted to do, I did not achieve all of the desired results that I had in mind for what I wanted to change or what I wanted to get better at or what I wanted to perfect or whatever the case is, all right? So I am going to be starting another 90-day self-help self-check challenge, all right? This is for me personally, but anybody who wants to join, you're welcome to. January 1st because a lot of people been hitting me up like I want to join I want to join there's no sign up all right but what the requirements is for you to just make a commitment to yourself now if you would like a consultation or you need to maybe discuss how you can really effectively use this 90 day self-help self-check challenge in order to get yourself to where you want to be in 90 days then you can definitely go on over to the website and schedule a free 30 minute consultation all right and the website is www shebouse21inc.com all right so if all of y'all hit me up for the freebies go on over to the website sign up book your call and we will get together we'll lay you out a plan of action all right because it's pretty easy to kind of map out what you want to do and how long it's going to take you to do it the things that you can actually use in the um the techniques or just even the the different um the different ways that you do something you know what i'm saying like you may need to learn a new skill you may need to improve on something that you're already doing you may just want to get better at something it may not be something that you want to stop doing all right so you can definitely use this challenge however you want to the reason i came up with the number 90 days is because um based on research and according to research it takes about 21 days to form a new habit all right as long as you're doing that consistently for 21 days all right so of course, the idea after 21 days is to continue to be able to do it. Now, if you haven't been intentionally setting any type of uh, habits or any type of routines or rituals or whatever you want to call them that you're constantly doing every day, because I know that word ritual normally scares people, but a ritual is just something that you do, you know what I'm saying, consistently, uh, maybe on a, time, a certain time frame or on a certain day of the month, whatever the case is, all right? People don't know um, things like going to... Um, basketball games and football games and, you know, religious uh, events and things like that, concerts, a lot of those things can be considered rituals if you really want to go there, all right? But that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother video. But if you haven't created any routines and rituals for your daily living, then that may be uh, what you need to do to get started on actually developing a new action or a new um, skill, a new trade, or just developing new ways to do something um, that you've been doing that you weren't really that great in the first place, all right? So sometimes this self-evaluation um, and self-help, self-check challenge can just cause you to look at yourself in a way that you may not have seen yourself before, all right? But it really requires you being honest with yourself and taking accountability for the shit that you created in your life that has got you where you at right now, whether that's where you want to be or whether that's where you don't want to be, all right? But what I will suggest and advise is that you never stop trying to achieve a better version of yourself. Not stop trying to, don't never stop trying to become better. Don't never stop trying to become more. Don't never stop trying to have more. Don't never stop trying to do more. Don't never stop trying to be more, all right? Don't limit yourself to the things that you can do because your limitations is all up here. You telling yourself that you can't do it, you won't do it, you're old, too old to do it, you don't have enough money to do it, things of that nature, that is the only thing that's stopping you from starting. 
All right, so if you would like to join this challenge with me, because um, let me see. One of the things I did not stop doing, but I'm going to scratch that off my list. Because <laughs> I, I decided that that is something that's in my best interest right now, all right? So I was going to stop smoking my CBD, but I decided not to stop smoking my CBD. And if y'all don't know, yes, um, the brand will, the, the line, the CBD brand will be launching um, in 2022. That manifest is on the way. I love it. It helps me to get in creative mode. It helps me to relax. For those of you have, who have anxiety, for those of you who have physical ailments and aches and pains, maybe due to surgery or maybe due to an injury that you um, acquire, you know, maybe at work or something like that. Um, I have muscle spasms in my lower and upper back and in my shoulder, my neck area. So I use the CBD muscle rub, the topical ointment, to help soothe and relax the pressure. Um, and the, like the hand, the throbbing and the headaches and stuff that it can cause from those knots just getting hard and um, inflaming. But it's also good um, to use the flower, like I said, for the same thing. The flower helps with pain too, um, and it also helps to relieve you, relax you. Uh, like I said, it helps with anxiety, it helps with depression. I've heard people say that um, it helps with menstrual cramps. It's all kind of benefits that um, CBD flower has as well. You can smoke that. Um, they also have the vapes and they also have oils and things like that. So that's just something that you might want to look into and consider using and implementing in your healthy living life. All right, because we just want to make sure that everybody's in their best, um, their best condition that they could possibly be. All right, especially health wise, especially nowadays what's going on at the times. Also, if you're looking to boost your immune system, all right, you're going over to the website at www.goddessy.com. That's G A U D Y. G O D D E S S Y dot com. All right, get you some wild out of a sea moss. All right, they got to see gold. Wild out of a sea moss. That is something that I love to use. It has 102 of the minerals that your body needs. It helps with, um, it helps to suppress your appetite, but it also will help to cleanse out your system, detox your system, and fortify um, and build up your immune system. Y'all know the things that are floating around in the air now is attacking a lot of people's immune system. All right, so you definitely want to make sure you can do everything you can to keep your immune system strong and healthy so that those things don't work to take you out all right um so what i'm going to be doing um for the next 90 day self-help self-check challenge one of the things well two of the th top things that i'm working on is uh, procrastination and organization all right these are two of my uh biggest struggles when it comes to personal and professional development so um, that is something that I'm going to be refocusing on, restructuring on, and I'm going to get more intentional with how I'm going to implement the changes that I need to make with those type of things. All right, like actually um, following my calendar more, writing down more things using my uh, Alexa, my office assistant more because a lot of those things and i'm not really using them to the full extent that i could be um looking for an assistance when i got one sitting right in the office is kind of crazy so that's something that you know i can work on so that's something that i can actually implement easily without no cost to me without even thinking about it just starting and saying hey alexa put this down on the schedule remind me of this um set the alarm for that They're those type of things that's really really simple stuff all right and a lot of things that we can do in our everyday life to just change our life for the better and have a better outcome better results more success things of that nature a lot of this stuff is real simple we just don't start it you know what i'm saying you just gotta start it and sometimes it's hard don't get me wrong the 90 day um challenge is not for the weak it's not for the meat it's not for those of you all who are really not serious about making the change right because you're probably gonna have to do about three or four 90 day self-help self-check challenges in order for you to actually really start sticking to some shit and seeing results. But well, what I can guarantee you is if you never get started, it'll never happen for you. Now, I did this challenge last year, for those of you who, who all don't, don't know, all right? And um, if you if you haven't already, go on over to the YouTube channel if you're not watching this on the YouTube channel and subscribe to the YouTube channel, all right? As she boss talks, that's S-H-I-I. B O S S T A L K Z. All right, for more info about how this challenge can help you out, and I got all kind of other content over there too, as well. Especially if y'all that like conscious content, or you just like valuable information that may help you wake up to some things that you aren't aware of in life. All right. Um, I started this challenge last year. I did this challenge for 30 days from October 1st to January 1st. And man, when I tell you my year has been awesome, I'm gonna actually sit down and do a video about all the things that. I was able to work on and create and manifest uh, over the past, just over the past 12 months. I mean, like the last two years has been amazing, but it, time has just flown by. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't even really remember everything that has gone on. And it's crazy because a lot of times when you're elevating, especially on a spiritual level, 
and you're getting more enlightening, you're, you feel like you're going up, you're feel, you can feel the ascension of yourself, you can feel the growth, you can feel the elevation. A lot of times I look back, I see like how Google sends those Google photos to remind you where you were a year ago, or two years ago, three years ago, four years ago, and a lot of times I don't even remember myself in those times, in those pictures, in those situations. And that to me is the best feeling in the world because that means that what I'm doing to work on improving myself, becoming the best version of myself, it's actually working because I no longer look at myself and see the old me. I actually see the current me who I am and I actually am working on my envision, my in ability to envision, all right? The future, all right? Because that's one thing that you need to know will help to power your manifestations. Being able to use your envision. Me being a full service stylist in the cosmetology and uh, uh, just having a passion for fashion all my life, I never really realized how what I used to be able to see in my head and just create was really like magic, all right? And, and I can't stress it enough. When I tell people I know magic, I know I do because I can look at myself one minute and see myself look a totally different way the next minute. That ain't nothing but magic. And I never even had to say a hocus pocus, all right? So just realize that the power is in you baby it's not on you all right the magic is in you it's not on you all right god is in you it's not on you all right everything that you need is within you already you already have it you are already blessed abundantly but work on trying to bless yourself instead of worrying about being blessed by somebody else because a lot of times people like i said are not worried about you it is human nature for someone to be their own main concern their own main priority all right don't get offended. Don't feel no type of way. Don't get in your feelings if somebody is not putting you first, all right? That just that should let you know that it's time for you to put yourself first and stop getting your feelings about something that you have no control over, all right? Um, that's something that you can work on doing a 90-day self-help, self-check challenge. Things to work on, you know, things you can check yourself before you wreck yourself on. Your attitude, all right? Your ability to communicate with people effectively, all right? Your ability to deal with situations. Your ability to deal with neglect. Your ability to deal with rejection. Your ability to deal with hurt and pain, all right? Your ability to deal with loss. If you lost a loved one and you are continuing to just grieve, 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 you can't let this pain go, that may be something that you can figure out how to work on because let me tell you something. The worst thing you could do is worry yourself or grieve yourself to death. And it is possible to do that. I've seen it happen over and over again in life, all right? And it, it's a real thing. You're killing your energy by trying to hold on to something that you can't change or something that is lowering your frequencies because after your frequencies get so low it's just gonna bottom out and, and conk out all right that's the only thing left to go once it gets lower and lower and lower once you get higher and higher and higher the same thing will happen but you will be going through a different experience and a different existence of life if you were to keep your frequency high enough all right so 